Hi, it's Tim from oraclebase.com. In this video, we'll demonstrate the use of SQL Developer Web introducing Oracle REST Data Services or ORDS 19.4. This has been available on Oracle Cloud for some time, but ORDS 19.4 is the first on prem release of this functionality. SQL Developer Web gives you access to the SQL Developer Worksheet and SQL Developer Data Modeler without having to install anything on your PC. More importantly, you don't need to punch holes in your firewall to allow direct access to the database. This product targets certain types of users. For those that don't need all the functionality of SQL Developer, this will be fine. Casual users where you don't want to go to the effort of punching holes through the firewalls or installing software on their machines and users in lockdown environments where you're simply not allowed to open ports to the database. We'll start by creating some test users on the database. We create a user called Tim and grant it the create session privilege. We connect to the user and enable ORDS for the schema, giving it a URL mapping pattern or schema alias that matches the username. We create a user called TimDBA and grant it the DBA and PDB DBA roles. We connect to the user and enable ORDS for the schema, once again giving it a schema alias that matches the username. We create a schema owner called TestUser1 and grant it the Create Session and Create Table privileges. We're not going to enable ORDS for this schema, we'll just use it as a schema owner for some objects. We connect to this user and create some tables. First we create the departments table and populate it with some rows. Then the employees table and populate it with some rows also. We need to make sure the regular user can see these objects so we grant select on these tables to the Tim user. That's all the database setup done but we have to configure ORDS to enable SQL Developer Web. To use SQL Developer Web, we have to enable REST enabled SQL and the SQL Developer Web feature. We do this using the following two commands. We can see from the output, this amends the settings in the defaults XML file. For this to take effect, we need to restart ORDS. Depending on how you're deploying ORDS, this process might be a little different. Here we're running ORDS on Tomcat, so we need to stop and start Tomcat to restart ORDS. Once ORDS is running again, we open a browser and go to this URL. By default, SQL Developer Web will only work with HTTPS. We're using a self-signed certificate here, hence the red warning. We enter the username and click the Next button. Then enter the password and click the sign in button. Check out the URL we end up at. This is the schema alias for the database user, followed by underscore SDW. If your schema alias doesn't match your database username, you'll have to come straight to this URL, substituting your schema alias, as the initial login page assumes the username and schema alias match. By default, we're on the Home tab which gives us a summary of what we've done. In this case, nothing, because it's a new user. On the Worksheet tab, we can see the Object Navigator, where we can find objects and perform some basic tasks against them. Of course, we can just start using the Worksheet to run queries in the normal way. If you're used to using SQL Developer, you'll get the point. The Data Modeler tab allows us to use a web-based version of the SQL Developer Data Modeler. As a quick example, we'll drag these tables onto a diagram. Once again, if you're used to using SQL Developer Data Modeler, you'll quickly get to grips with this. What about DBA users? If we log in with a DBA user, we get some additional functionality.
we get a DBA dashboard giving us some information about the system. We also get some quick links to various features. We can use the hamburger menu on the top left of the screen to see what functionality is available. Or just click one of the quick links. Once we navigate to one of the features, we see an additional tab called Activity is present. There are a number of features available, some of which require additional licensing. If you've used any of the DBA functionality in SQL Developer, DB Express or Cloud Control, much of this will look familiar. This is a really interesting addition to Oracle REST Data Services and I'm sure some of the user base are going to be extremely happy about it. Thanks for watching. As always, there are links to articles containing lots more information about this subject in the description box below.